Great. And we have another question, yeah, an email from North question. Carolina. Yeah, huh? all right. So let all me right, read this to you. let's do it. Go ahead, Mr. It's Z. It's a scientific notation question, Ed. Gotcha. It says an eye blinks 4,200,000 times in a year. Okay. Write this number in scientific notation. Great, thank you. Well, I didn't know that we had our eyes blink that much. That's quite a numerous amount here. And, and this large number is extensive. So we do have another style, another way of expressing this large number, and that's known as scientific notation. And it evolves around, I believe, the movement of the decimal point. For example, let me just get another color. The decimal point would go right there, and then if we wanted to, we'd add a zero. Okay, what we're gonna do when we set it up in a scientific notation is we wanna have one digit to the left of the decimal point. So each time we move a place value, it's a multiplication of 10. So there's one 10 times 100, of course 100 is 10 to the second power. There's a thousand, that's three, four, five, six locations, six place values. So the way we would write this in scientific notation would be 4.2. Again, those are significant digits when we set this up. I mean, in the original problem, all those zeros are significant, but we're gonna show it like this. And we went over how many spots? Six, so times 10 to the sixth power. So in scientific notation, save us a little time, a little space. A lot of the computer technology also shows their values in scientific notation because of the binary code. But in this case, you got 4.2 times 10 to the six. Now I should note that our exponent is not always gonna be positive. Let's do an example where we would have a negative one. And that's usually or always with numbers that are very, very small or numbers that are less than one. So let's say for example, we have 0.76. Okay, that value clearly is a number less than one. What we wanna do is we wanna have one digit to the left of the decimal point. So we'll move the decimal point one spot to the left, a second spot to the left, but this time, we didn't move left, we moved to the right. So we would write this one down in scientific notation as 7.6 times 10 to the negative two power. Okay, and that gives you an indication that the number is probably very, very small. Okay, I hope the person who sent that wonderful email was able to pick that up, thank you.